Hello, Heroes of the Storm. Here is my Anna Iovhanis healing guide. As a founding member of Overwatch and one of the world's best snipers, Anna Amari uses her skills to protect the innocent. Though she went MIA after losing her eye, Anna's sense of duty and responsibility has brought her back to the fight. Let's go over her skills. Her passive ability is Strike, which basic attacks apply a dose to non-structure enemies, dealing an additional 44 damage over 5 seconds and stacking up to 5 times. Her Q is Healing Dart, which costs 15 mana and has a 2 second cooldown. You fire a dart which heals the first allied hero hit for 250 health. Her W is a biotic grenade which costs 50 mana and has a 16 second cooldown. She tosses a grenade at the target area. Allied heroes hit are healed for 175 health and receive 25% increased healing for 4 seconds. Enemies hit take 60 damage and receive 100% less healing for 2 seconds. Her E is Sleep Dart, which costs 50 mana and has a 14 second cooldown. She fires a dart that puts the first enemy hero hit to sleep, rendering them unable to act for 3 seconds. Sleep effects end instantly if the target takes damage after the first .5 seconds. Her first R move is Nano Boost, which costs 40 mana and has a 50 second cooldown. She instantly boosts an allied hero, restoring 200 mana, and for the next 8 seconds they gain 30% spell power and their basic ability cooldowns recharge 150% faster. Her second R move is Eye of Horus, which costs a 75 mana and has a 60 second cooldown. Anna assumes a sniping position, gaining the ability to fire up to 8 specialized rounds with unlimited range. Rounds hit first allied hero, enemy hero, or enemy structure in their path. Allies are healed for 300 and enemies are damaged for 175. Deals 50% less damage to structures. Anna is unable to move while Eye of Horos is active. Now I'm going to go over the talent build I use for Anna. At level 1, we're going to choose Grenade Calibration. It gives you a quest to hit heroes with Biotic Grenade. Reward 1, after hitting 10 heroes, Biotic Grenade does 75% more damage healing per allied enemy hero hit. Reward 2, after hitting 20 heroes, Biotic Grenade's duration on allies is increased from 4 seconds to 12 seconds, and its healing radius is increased by 100%. Choose a talent. At level 4, we're going to take Overdose, a passive where hitting enemies with Sleep Dart and Biotic Grenade applies 2 doses. Choose a talent. At level 7, we're going to take Temporary Blindness. After Sleep Dart's effects wear off, targets are blinded for 2 seconds. At level 10, we're obviously going to take Eye of Horos. At level 13, we're taking Purifying Darts. Healing Darts remove slows and roots from the target and heals for 20% more when doing so. Choose a talent. At level 15, we're taking Sharpshooter. Healing Darts healing is increased by 5% each time it heals a hero, up to 50%. This bonus is reset if Healing Dart fails to hit a hero. This talent requires skill. At level 20, we are taking Ballistic Advantage. Eye of Horos rounds explode upon impact, healing nearby allies for 300 and dealing damage to nearby enemies' heroes. Now that we get the talents out of the way, the real trick to playing Anna is placement. You need to strategically place yourself in fights where you can best hit your allies. The worst thing about Anna is she can only hit one hero at a time and her healing dart hits the first target. If you are trying to heal an ally that is behind another ally, you need to move or else you will heal the ally in front of him. I'm talking about healing dart and not the biotic grenade. Also be careful with Anna's R move, I horrors. Once you activate, you can't move. 
I like to place myself in bushes or other spots. One good thing about it is you don't need to see your target to hit them. There's a little window that shows you who you are about to hit if you shoot. I always stay behind my allies because Anna has a decent range with her heals. If you have an ally hero low on health, you can hit them with the grenade and then heal them with the heal dart for a huge boost in health. You can also use your RR in your own base and just zoom in the target like so. That's really all there is to it. Once you get Sharpshooter, you really need to focus on hitting your target with the Healing Dart because every shot counts. If you miss, you reset the bonus. Other than that, always stay at a safe range and keep your teammates between you and the enemy. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please comment below. Also sign up to our newsletter and get the latest news and tips on a variety of different games. Have a great day in the Nexus.